You're watching Global News Morning on Global Kingston. A pleasure to have you join us on this Monday morning. It's time for the dirt. Monica off this week. We are in the presence of some greatness here. Lopez. <laughs> yeah, not me, Bill. Yeah, Lo Lopez brought, <laughs> brought along Jesse for <laughs> to cover for the dirt. That's the way the it works. Week. How are you, bud? I'm great. Did you have a good weekend? Uh, yeah, I took off Friday, so a little bit of a long weekend. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, if you can um, show us what you're wearing, I guess you can't. You're rocking the shorts and the blazer again. I don't know. I can't really yeah, see I can it. do a little. I can do a little kick. Okay, There's the yeah, shorts. Go. I saw a couple of those ensembles at a wedding I was at on Friday, and I thought oh, yeah? it's happening. Uh, honestly, as I was getting dressed this morning, I put on the shorts for you, Bill. I thought I know Bill likes the shorts and blazer. Oh. I want to make Bill happy. It's Monday. It is a good look. I love it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, let, let's get right to it. You know what they say, if you touch it or if you break it, you buy it. Oof! Yeah. You, you heard about this. Ben Affleck had quite a weekend. Ten-year-olds and Lamborghinis, I'm not sure it's a match made in heaven. But he let this ten-year-old get behind the wheel of this yellow Lamborghini while the engine was running. And you can imagine what happened next, right? Oh! Yeah! And so a little fender bender. To make matters worse, the white car you're looking at there is a BMW, a not Beamer. a Beamer, Bill. Yeah. So that uh, is going to cause a little bit of damage. And what's funny is a, uh, an employee at the dealership tried to save face and they're like, they were just really close together. It wasn't actually a collision. As you just saw in those photos, it was a collision. Was that Beamer belonging to the luxury car dealership too? Uh, I'm not sure, but the owner was there. He did come out. There's uh, pictures if you check out TMZ has them of Ben and the owner of the car chatting. Doesn't look like there was any fisticuffs. It was all... All that, well, that ends well. Nobody was hurt and no charges are laid. So yeah, I'm just thinking with the owner saying or the car dealership employee saying, ah, it, was, it was okay, nothing happened. Yeah, I wonder what the, the owner of the Beamer says about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, well, let's hear from him. Yeah, Never exactly. mind the employee trying to save face. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I imagine uh, because he's a star, uh, he probably doesn't have to pay for any damages. See, isn't that weird? The rich people don't have to pay for free dinners, for clothes. I know. For a lot of things, they can smash up a little bit of a, of a luxury car and just, you know, get away with it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the people that need the money that have to buy all those things. It's a good point, Bill. The richer get richer. Isn't that what they say? That's what they say. It's not fair. Yeah. Speaking of rich people, the Academy Awards. We're finally hearing how the Oscars got the nickname Oscar. It's a good question. It's got nothing to do with movies. Nothing at all. So apparently there's this new book coming out called The Academy and the Award. The author says there was an office assistant way back in the day uh, when it was called the Arts of Motion Pictures. And uh, she, her job was cleaning the awards before they were handed out and polishing them, getting them all ready. And she nicknamed them Oscar because she had a good friend named Oscar who was known for standing super straight and tall with great posture. So the Oscar statue reminded her of her buddy Oscar. That's how it came to be. Started off as a nickname and now that's what it's become to known as. Yeah, right. I mean, I didn't say it was sexy. Or necessarily true, it's just a rumor, but okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes these little things take off and then they stick, so there we go. Can you imagine going to a bar and some guy back in the 40s, 50s, 60s saying, yeah, I'm, I'm Oscar, they named the Oscar after me. You'd be like, yeah, right. Pretty cool story though. Yeah. Talk about bragging rights, but you're right, I would believe you. Yeah. Nobody, okay, have another there, Oscar. Good posture though, <laughs> to, to be known for your posture is pretty cool too. It's a good but, thing uh, to have. But Oscar, you do stand straight and tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, moving on to George Michael, the late, great George Michael. Mm. Turns out he was a really sweet guy. So there was a couple who was on Deal or No Deal back in uh, 2015. And this particular couple had been trying for nine years, or nine cycles, excuse me, to have a baby. They were having fertility issues. They were doing the whole in vitro thing. They shared their story on Deal or No Deal because they had exhausted their savings. And I guess George Michael happened to be watching. And he was so moved by their story that he made a huge donation to this couple anonymously. So they never found out who it was from. But thanks to his donation, they were able to do tests, yada, yada, yada. They ended up having a beautiful baby in 2017, thanks to his money. And as we know, he passed away Christmas Day 2016. So it's kind of a, a bittersweet ending to this story that they got the baby, but were never able to thank the man who made the donation. And he didn't want them to know. He requested that his donation be anonymous. Wow. So he was initially on the game show to win money to do the testing. That's right. Just to win enough money to do this. Yeah. And then George Michael found out and uh, pretty much donation. financed the whole thing for them. Isn't that sweet? I love when knowing. we hear about celebrities uh, doing good like that. And not necessarily jumping up and down and having a press release sent out saying, look what I can do. 
Absolutely. In fact, he didn't want Look anyone to did. know. Yeah. So actually, the only way she found out was because the day after he passed away, so on Boxing Day 2016, one of the producers was sharing positive stories about George, and that was one of them. And she read that on Twitter and thought, hey, that happened to me. Could he be talking about me? It's a beautiful story. Yeah. Love George Michael. Love Jesse. Love the Lopez. One and only. Thanks, Bill.